so it just just stopped working all the time. Yeah, I mean, it was like at five or ten percent. I just wanted to plug it in, but it didn't. And nothing. Nope. And you went to Apple Store. I did go to Apple Store. This one Walnut. Walnut too. Yeah. And what did they say? They said some things with the logic store. Did they open it? They did. They said uh, they would send it in, and it's going to be a flat fee. Someone brought me this dead MacBook Air laptop. This is the uh, MacBook Air 2020. The MacBook is completely dead and won't turn on at all. Before she brought it here, she went to the Apple Store and the Apple Store, they open it, they try to revive the MacBook and the Apple Store say that the problem is on the logic board. They need to send it out and it's gonna cost them around $400. Let's fix the MacBook. I'm gonna use this USB-C meter to test the MacBook. I'm gonna plug one end to the charger and the other end to one of the port on the MacBook. Nothing. The MacBook is not getting any power or current at all. Let's plug it into the other port. Same. The MacBook is not getting any power and or any current at all. Let me show you that this USB-C meter works. Right here I have the uh, small camera light. Unplug it and plug it into the camera light. See, there you go. The light or the camera light is taking 5 volts and 0 0.19 or 0 0.2 amps. But when I plug it into the MacBook, nothing. No power, no current at all. Alright, let's open the MacBook and fix it. Alright, the MacBook is opened. I can see there are a lot of fingerprints right here. There you go, you can see it right there. Fingerprints, fingerprints. Alright, first I want to check this um, USB-C port right here or the charging port. 
I'm gonna take it out and see if there's any damage around this USB-C port or the charging port. Take out the battery first. Hmm. I see another damage. <laughs> the battery connector right here. The battery connector is also damaged. Hopefully, it doesn't damage the battery. Anyway, let's do one thing at a time. Take this one out, boom. If you can see it, focus, focus, focus. There you go. Let me turn off the light or on. There you go. You can see that the USB C port or the charging port is corroded. Also, on this side here. Yeah. See that? It is corroded. Let me get a new USB-C port and replace it and hopefully that will fix the problem. I have all the parts right here ready to be installed to the laptop or the MacBook. All right, I got this new USB-C port or the charging port. Let's install it. All right. Next, I'm going to plug in this battery connector. Let me increase the contrast or whatever, the lighting. There we go. There we go. Oh. All right, as you can see, the uh, the battery connector on the battery side is a little bit damaged right here but anyway hopefully it's not going to be a serious problem 
Plug the battery in like this. Plug it in. Secure it like that. Alright, zoom out. Now let's plug in the USB C meter and the charger and see. There you go. And there you go. The MacBook is taking 20 volts and 2 amps. It means that the uh, the MacBook is charging the battery. Let me plug it into another port, the other port right here. Boom. It turns on right away. Oh, I can hear that the MacBook is turned on. I can hear that the MacBook is turning on. 20 volts, 1 amps, 2 amps. Zoom it out. Let's see. The MacBook is turning on. <laughs> yep, the MacBook works. Let me put the password in and test the MacBook. The keyboard doesn't work and it turns out that <laughs> the keyboard connector is off. Whoever worked on this MacBook before me, dude, you're Quack. fucked up. Alright, I'm gonna unplug the charger and unplug the battery. Reconnect the keyboard right here. Hopefully you can see it. Reconnect the keyboard. Plug it in. All right. Everything is plugged in. Plug the battery back in. There you go. Let me plug the charger in. All right, it is, yep, it is turning on. You can hear the chime. Apple logo. <laughs> All right, enter the password.
There you go. The MacBook is fixed. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do a deep test into this MacBook. And if everything is good, I'm gonna clean out all these um, fingerprints marks on the back of the on the back of the MacBook here, and put everything back together, and the MacBook is fixed. I run some tests, and the MacBook is good. Now I am cleaning up this fingerprints marks on the MacBook that the previous uh, repair person left. I'm gonna clean it as best as I can. Not touching any components or damaging it. Gonna clean up some of the dust a little bit. There you go. No more fingerprints marks. And the bottom case or the bottom cover is clean. Let's put everything back. Flip it. Let's clean this side right here. Plug in the charger. Luckily, this MacBook turns out to be a quick fix. It only takes me about 10 minutes to find the problem, to open the MacBook, replace the part, to clean the MacBook, the inside of the MacBook, to put everything back together and to test it. It only takes me about 10 minutes. And this is the only problem with the MacBook. There's nothing wrong with the logic board, Nothing wrong with the uh, nothing wrong with the battery besides that you know chip uh, connector, and yeah, that's the only thing. And I'm glad that she brought the MacBook here and let me fix it instead of spending four hundred dollar and gonna be away without her MacBook for a couple of days or a couple of weeks. I don't know how long Apple you know gonna keep it for, only because of this small simple problem C smart C smart <laughs> by sending it here um, all right so there you go the MacBook is now charging and the MacBook is fixed